what I want to talk about is this whole lie about Microsoft has great multiplayer while Sony only has great single player. As far as I'm concerned, Sony makes more great single player and multiplayer games than Microsoft. Sony, this generation alone, we had Killzone Shadowfall, Drive Club, Gran Turismo, MLB The Show, Uncharted, The Last of Us, Everybody's Golf, Wipeout. You even had H1Z1, DC Universe Online, and Planet Side 2. Because up until Sony had sold that developer, that was a first party developer who has made those three games. Now, what does Microsoft have as far as making multiplayer games? They have Halo, Gears, Forza, and Sea of Thieves. Let me repeat myself. They have Halo, Gears, Forza, and Sea of Thieves. That is it. They have the same three games, the same three franchises they had last generation. And then they, they piled No Man's Sea, a pile of dog crap on it in Sea of Thieves. Now, and I know what you guys are going to say. But what about games like State of Decay? Well, that game is not developed by Microsoft. It is developed by a second party, a third party, somebody that, that is not a first party. What about Crackdown? Again, a game developed by four mercenary developers that Microsoft does not own. The game is not first party. What about PUBG? Again, third party deal. What about Titanfall? Again, made by another third party. Microsoft themselves only makes Halo, Gears, Forza, and Sea of Thieves. And yet you people want me to believe that Microsoft runs multiplayer while Sony only runs single player. Ludicrous. Absolutely Ludicrous. Drive Club sold over 2 million. Shadowfall sold over 3 million. Gran Turismo always sells. MLB The Show is a million seller. Uncharted sold a crap ton. The Last of Us sold a crap ton. Everybody's Golf has always been a solid title. Wipeout has always been a solid title. Sony has more multiplayer games and more single player games than Microsoft. It's just a fact. I mean, we could also go ahead and name games. I mean, yeah, you could name Killer Instinct. Oh, I forgot that. But again, Killer Instinct isn't made by a Microsoft developer. It's made by, yet again, another hired hand. And yeah, if you want to go into games like that, then we could bring in games like Guilty Gear and King of Fighters, which both aren't on Xbox. You could bring in games like Bloodborne. Even though it's not made by Sony, it does have a multiplayer component. I mean, we can go on and on and on. And it would just be even more destruction. I mean, even look at the past generations. You have games like SOCOM, MAG, God of War Ascension, Little Big Planet, My Nation Racers, Starhawk, Warhawk, Buzz, SingStar, MotorStorm, PlayStation All-Stars. Where is anybody getting that Microsoft makes more multiplayer games or is more concentrated on multiplayer games than Sony. Sony does both. And most of their games have multiplayer. Just because their top tier games are single player does not mean that they make multiplayer. The only difference is, is that Sony's top tier single player games rank up with the best single player games. Meanwhile, Microsoft's multiplayer games are pretty much average to trash. It just is what it is. Nobody's really checking for State of Decay 2, for Crackdown 3, for Sea of Thieves. Like, get the hell out of here. So, where does the lie comes from that Sony only does good single player? Microsoft does great multiplayer. It's completely, utterly false, stupid, and just one giant big lie. Sony single player games stand with the best out there. Microsoft multiplayer games do not. Period. Period. They don't. God of War sold 3 million in what? Two to three days? I don't see any other single player games doing those kind of crazy numbers. And yet, 
when it comes to multiplayer, I don't see anything that Microsoft has made themselves competing with a Fortnite or a PUBG or an Overwatch or anything crazy like that. I don't see it. If you see it, then yeah, you let me know. You tell me, but I don't see it. So not only does Sony make more single player games than Microsoft, they make more multiplayer games as well and more critically acclaimed single and multiplayer games than both. I mean, I, I could name games like Resistance, but I don't count games like Resistance because Sony did not make a game like Resistance. So, all in all, instead of lying about things, instead of making excuses about things, like, why do we have to make excuses for Microsoft? Why can't we just demand better? 